All right, welcome back to Illustrator CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the Arc tool, so uh, which is the second of the uh, tools with the Line Segment tool here. So I'm going to click on the Arc tool to make it active. And again, you can access all these tools by holding down the mouse on the current tool and then slide over to the tear out bar. And then you have the tools released. So the Arc tool, I can click in the center here of the stage and basically see the options. So it has 100 point for the X, Y, open access right now, and uh, 50 for the slope. And I'll click OK and show you what that looks like. So here it is. It's basically like a squished uh, ellipse here, or part portion of ellipse. The way it works, you can click and drag, and either up or down, uh, left or right, and you get a simply an arc. Pretty easy to do. If you want to flip it the other direction, you can hit the F key, and that will flip it the other direction. So if I wanted to continue this arc here as I come around, all I gotta do is hit the F key. And smart with smart guides on, it'll pretty much create like a kind of like a half circle here. Um, of course, these are separate paths, they're not joined right now. If you did want to join these paths, you could use the white arrow, select them both, and then hit that hot key, control G J or Command J on a Mac. Again, it's under the object menu, path, and then um, join. There it is right there. Okay, so um, now this is one path you can see that I can individually manipulate the individual points. I could select uh, more than one and move them over if I wanted to. If I wanted to make some interesting like cone effect for maybe a missile or in front of an airplane, for example. So the uh, art tool also has another option as you drag out. If you hit the C key, what it does is it creates a closed path basically. And that one can be filled. So if I can choose a fill color here, you can see what it would look like. Uh, the only thing about this tool is once you have a closed path, uh, it basically remembers the last settings, which is the closed path. So as you draw it out, you have to hit the C key again to release that closed path. But um, yeah, you can create interesting sort of shapes. You can have them, you know, uh, zigzag kind of like here to create like a wave effect if you wanted to or some sort of like teeth. Uh, so the arc tool has its purposes. You can experiment, try it out. You can also connect it up with the line segment tool. So, um, you know, I could basically create a shape here with the, all these extra uh, points uh, in conjunction with line shape with the arch tool. So let me select this whole shape here. Whoops, I accidentally grabbed the top select this whole thing and switch to the white arrow tool and basically hit control J or command J on the Mac and now I have this really interesting shape that is basically I can click on individual anchor points and adjust the curve so I can have a nice little curve there and these other points I can create and now I have like the beginnings of possibly a tooth or um, I don't know some sort of waves or so forth. Let's uh, add a blue color in here. So you can see the possibilities of the arc tool in conjunction with line segment tool. In the next tutorial, we'll cover the spiral tool. See you soon in Illustrator CC.